this country belongs to us. This democracy belongs to the people. I'm surprised, and there are two surprises now. One is the sudden hike of the electricity tariff, and which to me is against the Constitution, because Constitution, our Constitution is supreme. Section 42 says that you cannot discriminate against Nigerians. When I heard about this, ban A, ban 2, ban B, ban C, it's discrimination. It's discrimination. And it should not be allowed. This is the first time I'm hearing it that you can be get an hour for 20, uh, 20 hours. And somebody will get it too. Supposing you are living among the masses and you can afford to pay for 24 hours. And that is what they are supposed to provide. Besides, this power supply, power distribution company belongs to Nigerians. They just took it like that and then use it to be loading charges on Nigerians. Suddenly one morning, they wake up again and say, a cybercrime uh, levy. Thank God this president is listening. And we have a responsibility of calling people to order. If you see how the Minister of Power was presenting this increase in power, as if he owns the company and these Nigerians are being provided. It should not be like that. The, 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 we are appointed, we are appointed, we are elected. Please, uh, uh, SP, I can see that you are running out of patience. But we, we are supposed to be doing the right thing. We must commend when somebody does a good job and gives us a lead way, we should follow. I'm happy. It's only that he ignored another group. There should be Banji, and I belong to that group. <laughs> Ban generator and uh, renewable energy, because we don't see the light anywhere. So let's take this issue of power so that it doesn't come up. Nigerians are getting too much shock unnecessarily. Somebody will just wake up and say and get a crazy idea that, oh, increase the power this thing, and you go there and announce it. No, it should go through the National Assembly. That's why we're here. We are representing the people, and anything that affects the people should be before the National Assembly before you do it, please. And so let us not, like this now, if we start discussing this very important matter, you say, oh, two minutes, two minutes. No. In the, in, the, in, the, in the U.S. Senate, if I stand up, if a senator stands up to speak, you don't tell him round up until he leaves the floor. That is how it's supposed to be. Please.